There are few things that link us to another person physically and emotionally as powerfully as sex. While many of us enjoy sex and would like to have sex, others go beyond enjoying it and become addicted. But addiction is a difficult thing to face. We aren't always aware of our addictions. So here are the signs of a sex addict. As always, when talking about sex and psychology, the conversation can touch on trauma and how that can predict or affect certain behaviors. So consider this a trigger warning for topics of sexual abuse. So whether you call it a Casanova complex, Don Juan complex, hypersexuality, nymphomania, or just plain sex addiction, some of these might be familiar to you. Number one, your history with sex. Most people know the clinical term for sex addiction as nymphomania. In psychological studies, it was seen as a deep psychological issue for women. If a woman enjoyed sex too much, it was a cause for concern. Of course, we have largely moved away from this perspective in modern society, but that doesn't mean that there is no relationship between gender and sex addiction. Unfortunately, some people, typically women, experience sex addiction as a result of trauma or childhood abuse. Of course, that doesn't mean that anyone who is addicted to sex has trauma, and that absolutely does not mean that anyone who has sexual trauma will become a sex addict. The link between the two lies in the person's own personal feelings of shame, depression, and guilt. An excessive desire for sex could be a way of taking back control and shedding those feelings. If you have dealt with trauma in the past, it may have affected your perception of sex. For some, trauma leads to sex addiction. For others, it can lead to complete abstinence. And for a lucky few trauma survivors, it won't have any bearing on their sex life. Number two, your thoughts are all about sex. Every day, no matter what you're doing or who you're with, you're thinking about sex. Everywhere you look, you're reminded of sex. It might have gotten to the point that you're hearing innuendos and flirtatious tones where there are none. The pattern recognition part of your brain has been hijacked to look out for anything and everything sexual. It may even get to the point of being detrimental. You can't seem to get any work done. You feel distant in conversations and your frustration is becoming too great. This can be developed or worsened with frequent use of pornography. You may find you have become extremely picky with what you watch, needing it to match a very specific fantasy. Your fantasies and kinks are very clear in your mind, but matching them in real life is difficult. If sex is all you can think about, you may be dealing with hypersexuality. Number 3. Your actions are also all about sex. It isn't limited to your thoughts. If you are addicted to sex, you will be trying to have sex as frequently as possible. In order to do that, you have to take practical actions to satiate your addiction. Like any addiction, this can be destructive to your life. Nothing is more important to an addict than their addiction. If you've ever ruined relationships over sex or frequently put other opportunities aside for sex, you may be addicted. Sometimes you might find yourself planning your day or week around whether or not you can have sex. It's difficult for one person to keep up with it all, so the addiction can push someone towards cheating. If you have a sex addiction, it has probably already started affecting your life for the worse. Pay careful attention to the actions you take and what your motivations for relationships are. Number 4. Your sexual needs don't always benefit you. Does sex still feel like it used to? It can be extremely freeing and fun to explore sexual fantasies. The constant mix of frustration and uncertainty, while in a relationship with someone with a sex addiction, has been found to increase anxiety and insecurity. You may be at the point where you've wondered if having a steady relationship is even worth it considering your sexual needs. You may also find yourself engaging in sexual behavior with complete strangers and often regretting it afterwards. If your sex life has led you to some strange and regrettable places, you're probably dealing with an addiction. Number five, you struggle with intimacy. A big benefit of sex for most people is the intimacy of it. If you aren't just having sex for fun, sex can be extremely emotionally fulfilling. If you're a sex addict, you might have started to feel like there's no intimacy in sex. If it was the intimacy that got you addicted in the first place, over time that intimacy can get lost. The same goes for all the other aspects of sex that someone can get addicted to. Maybe you enjoyed how secret it was at first, but over time it lost its thrill. Maybe it was entirely the biological aspect, the physical feeling of sex. Over time, someone can become numb to that as well. Like any addiction, what got you hooked in the first place will eventually elude you. So another sign that you're a sex addict would be if you struggle to find the thing you used to love about sex. 
Everyone experiences sex addiction differently. Every sex addict becomes addicted differently. It is an often overlooked addiction because people assume it's less destructive than other addictions. But sex is a sensitive topic and a lot of lives are changed because of it. Remember, you might relate to one or two of these points even if you aren't a sex addict, but give it some thought and be honest with yourself. If you're addicted to sex, there are ways of coping and treating it. Because there are so many factors that affect your relationship with sex, the best thing to do is see a professional therapist who has experience or knowledge about this topic. They can take you through cognitive behavioral therapy and treat it for what it is, an addiction. If you found this video to be informative and helpful, please leave a like. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos just like this.